whoa. <laughs> that happens every time I come in here to film. I'm gonna have to pull the glass over because it's scooting and I keep falling off the ledge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, guys. So, <laughs> I'm filming this on Saturday. It is a collaboration with Dawn. Dawn Loves Couture. And we were supposed to have had this video up today, but I do have to confess that I am all over the place here lately because the Halloween extravaganza video is taking a lot out of me. It's taking a lot out of me. I really hope I should have it wrapped up by next weekend. But anyway, so far I know that Don and I are collaborating, Kevin and Devin. Okay, so we are set to upload and Kevin and Devin, let me know if this is okay with you. You don't have to do it, but we are set to upload on October the 29th. That is on a Saturday. I didn't bring my agenda up here, but I will clarify everything and I will text you guys. I think 11 central time because we want it to be able to, you know, scare and spook you guys all weekend because Halloween is actually on Monday. So <laughs> after this collaboration, I don't think I'm going to do any more collaborations until the new year because I have all this and it's a lot. I have a lot of preparation going on for Vlogmas. I'm going to vlog Vlogmas the whole time. You know mine is Vlogmas, Vlogmas, Hot Mess Yota does Vlogmas. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. But anyway, I do have a lot going on and I probably won't be able to do collaborations. The ones that I've done recently with Candy and Dawn, I had to procrastinate a bit and push it back because I have so much going on. But check out my t-shirt. Check out the tea. Hocus Pocus. Yes, I love it. One of my friends has like a little online boutique and I saw it and I love it. And I got it in an extra large so I can wear it with leggings and it's it's really, well, you can't see all of it, but it's really long and it's really cute and I like it. It's, it's good for this time of year. Okay guys, so Today's video is a collaboration between Dawn and I. If you have not subscribed to Dawn, please do so. And also subscribe to me. But we are collaborating today on what fits in our Chanel walk. Now, I have a couple of different ways that I pack it. And I will show you how I use this bag. This was my honorable mention bag when I did my top five luxury bags. Because I can't imagine... Honestly, I cannot imagine my collection without this bag. And I will give you a little sneak peek into my 2023 wish list. I want a Chanel walk and I want the, I don't know what the color is, but it's beige. I want that. And that's on my list because I have used this so much. And when I ask if you would be interested in seeing what fits, I had so many people say, yes, please do show us what fits. So I'm going to talk all about this bag. And then after you watch my video, hop on over to Dawn and she will do the same. And if you're interested in getting this bag, hopefully it will help you out. So yeah, we're going to continue on with the reviews until the end of the year because I will not be unboxing any more new bags in 2022. You know, it's so easy to go on the coach website and think, well, that's not that bad. And, and just click. And I can't have every damn coach bag that they put out there, right? <laughs> I, just, I can't. And I want to take a break from it anyway. But yeah, I, and don't think that I said never. I said until the end of the year. Okay. So 2023, that's a whole new year. But for today, this is what we're going to be talking about. I love this bag. So if you want to hear what I have to say about this beautiful Chanel walk, stick around. So my bag, well, it's going to be my bag of the weekend. 
and it is this little Alma BB and the next time I go into Louis Vuitton I plan to get my initials put on it right here I love this little bag the strap is inside of it but I also had ordered a strap that looks very similar to the one that goes with it very similar to this but this one is not adjustable and I had ordered undress up your purse it's in my closet room anyway one just like this but it's adjustable so you guys might want to consider that because I think all bags should be adjustable but with this bag I tend to carry this little bag uh, handheld and I love to carry it handheld so this is going to be the bag that I'm going to be using this weekend so I haven't had time to change out of my souffle you see things sticking out of it. <laughs> this one's packed so I haven't had time to change out of it so I thought I would bring this bag in here and change out after I film the video and let you guys know I used to change my bag like clockwork every Sunday carry my bags for a week at a time unless you know I went somewhere nice and I needed something nicer but now I normally change my bags out two or three times a week I really do and I really enjoy it because yeah they get um they get rotated and they get used okay and you guys I am selling a few bags and I'm going to show you a couple of bags that I'm selling on Mercari, but I'm gonna offer them to you guys, and um, I could take it off Mercari, but anyway, I am selling some stuff, and yeah, okay, get ready for the new year. <laughs> All right, let's talk about this bag. All right, I wanted a Chanel lock for as long as I could remember, and mine has the gold hardware, and it's just such a subtle little bag. It's um, It's got the beautiful quilting, it's got a tiny little pocket on the back, and no way would I tr even try to put my cell phone in there, but I have stuck a few dollars down in there. I've taken this um, even to football games and wore it cross body and put a few dollars down in there or my ticket so I could just reach and get it. So it's, it's useful in that sense, but it's not useful in the sense that you would put your phone in that pocket unless you want to ruin it. It has a really strong uh, magnetic closure right here and it just snaps shut. You don't have to look it just snaps shut. It's very user friendly. When I store this, I store it with the chain inside the bag, just like that. Okay. So I've never used it as a clutch, but I could if I wanted to, but I probably wouldn't because I have a YSL clutch. So, but you can use this as a clutch and like I just showed you, put this chain, and it doesn't take up a lot of space because normally if you're going somewhere, you know, like a social event or whatever, and you're going somewhere and you want to use a clutch, I mean, you really don't need a lot with you. Maybe a mirror, a lipstick, um, stick your driver's license in there, and maybe a credit card. I mean, you really don't need much, so it doesn't, you know, so it would do the trick for a clutch really pretty like that but I, I just never have done that okay so probably most of you are familiar with the walk but if you're not it does also have this little pocket let's see if I have any love letters no I have no love letters <laughs> Keith's not the love letter type I hint but what good does that? I'm like, Keith, write me a love letter. Okay. And I never, okay. 18 years later, 20 years, we've been together 20 years. No love letters. <laughs> All right, guys. So now on the inside, it has this beautiful burgundy color that is being blown out from the lights. But you have one, two, three, four, five, six slots where you can put your cards. And I do use those slots for my cards. Now, not always because I have, I'll show you because I do have a card holder in here. I have just went ahead and put a card holder in there, but I have also used it 
as it is intended to be with the slots. All right, so I still am using this. So, you know, if you want to save a lot of space, that's when you're gonna use, see those card holders right in there. But this goes in there perfectly. And like I said, when I use this, I don't really carry a lot of stuff with me. Now, let's just go ahead and say, um, for the sake of the video, we'll keep the card holder in there. But just know, if you do use the slots, you're going to have more space. Duh, that's, that's pretty obvious. Now, I've got my Chanel O case here. I would not use my Chanel O case. What I would do is get out my lipstick and my mirror. As long as I have a lipstick and a mirror, guys, I am good to go. And I would just put it right back right back there with my card case. And there's still plenty of room, okay? Plenty of room. Now, if I were going somewhere by myself and I were using this bag, I would have to have my car fob and my car keys. So let's see how that works out. This will be no problem and I usually just carry my car fob. Sometimes I will put it in something well, I don't have anything in here to show you. Just like a, you know, like my Daisy Rose clay. Sometimes I'll put it in there. But in this situation, probably I would unzip this area and just stick it down in there. Just, you know. So see? Just put it right in there where it's nice and secure. And then I've got my car fob. Now... I am going to have to have my house keys and they are on my Louis Vuitton four ring key holder and it's going to fit in the main body of the walk. You guys, these bags are much like the baguette in the sense that they hold more than you think. Because see, there it is. Mm -hmm. So there's my card holder, there's my Chanel mirror, there's my um, lipstick and my key fob or my keys my four ring key holder <laughs> my four ring key holder and then my key fob is in there I use this almost all the time but I wouldn't use it as a matter of fact I seldom have cash, but if I did, I'd probably just stick a few bills right in here with my car fob. Now you might, you know, pack yours totally different, but that is, okay. That's everything I need, but I'm going to close it and I have noticed a problem. I don't think the car fob needs to be in the zippy area. As a matter of fact, this body, the main body of the walk is so big, I can also put it in there with my other keys, my lippy, and my compact. Now, now I will try to zip it and see if there's any stress. Nope, no stress. So see, that's everything that I would need, but in all reality, if I were using this and I were going somewhere myself, probably I would take out a insurance card, my driver's license, and a credit card and stick it down in those slots. And then I would have even more space, okay? But if I were going somewhere with Keith, really, to be honest with you, I wouldn't even take this. And I wouldn't even take this because if I'm going off with him, unless I'm just in a big bag and I don't change anything out, I wouldn't take anything except my card holder and my lippy. And let's see, sometimes I do carry a lip pencil and that's so small, you know, you could just plop it down in there. It's not gonna take up any space like that. But I wanted to, 
I wanted to use this just to show you that even though this is small, it still does take up a good bit of space. And if you do need to carry something extra, I would definitely encourage you to take out your insurance card, your debit card or credit card and whatever else you need uh, and just put in these slots and then you will have loads more space for other things. Now, if you want to carry, like when I carry perfumes with me, I always carry travel size perfumes. This is the Louis Vuitton travel size. This is a Lancome perfume idol that I like a lot. And sometimes I just use these small little samples. So yes, definitely you could put, I'll put the bigger one in there. You could put the bigger one in there. As long as you are putting the cards in the little slots where it's intended. The number one thing about expensive bags, and this isn't anything that you guys don't already know, but I'll go ahead and say it, is we don't want to stress our bags. I don't want to stress any of my bags, much less a bag like this. These, I don't know exactly how much these are now. I paid $2,900 for this one, $2,800, $2,900 for it, and that was a pretty good deal. I think they're around $3,000, give or take a little, and... Uh, but you guys, they're just, if you're caught out in the rain, you don't have to worry. It's that caviar leather that just holds up. I mean, just look at it. Just look at it. Ah, I love it. So you guys, you know, I've been telling you no more bags this year and that is true. But next year, the very first bag that I want is this one in the beige. Maybe I'll go up to Philly. You know, maybe Keith and I will travel somewhere. But this is my number one wish list. This is my number one bag on my wish list in the beige because I am so surprised how much that I have actually used this bag. Okay. Well, I guess that's all I really have to show you about this bag. Basically what fits in it, how I use it, and yes, it's versatile because you can use it as a clutch or a shoulder bag or a crossbody. But you guys, it is such a great bag. It's very small. Now, when I first saw it in person, I had seen it online, I really thought, wow, this is really small, but it's small, but it does pack a punch. And I, I know I say that a lot of times about different bags, but see, it's not really, really thin on the side. So it will hold quite a few things. And I, okay, so I have considered getting the YSL um, envelope bag, and it's like a wallet unchain in the beige. I've considered it, I would love it, but you guys, I'm not gonna go that route even though it's a lot less expensive because if I did, and I'm telling this because I don't want you guys to settle either. If there's something that you really, really want and you know that you want it and you wanted it for a really long time, don't settle for a bag that's similar, okay? Because you're still gonna want what you want. Even if I got the YSL walk, in the beige color, I would still want the Chanel walk. <laughs> it, I, I still would. And then I would end up with both of them and then I wouldn't use the YSL much. It would probably just sit on my shelf. So you guys, I know for a fact that I love this so much that I am going to get the beige color and it's on the very top of my 2023 wish list. So that's a little teaser for you guys. I don't have a lot of bags on my wish list, to be honest with you. And I certainly have been selling some bags and I have a couple luxury bags in mind that I will be selling. So I will offer them to you guys first before I sell them. And I just want to you know, I don't want to have things sitting on the shelf. Now there are things sitting on the shelf that I'm fine with because I have them for certain reasons, but there are some bags in my closet that sit there and I don't use them. And yeah, so I'm going to clear out some stuff 
and I will give you guys uh, first dibs on it. But I love this, you guys. It's such a classic. It'll never go out of style. You can wear it with a black dress. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with a Hocus Pocus t-shirt. You can wear it with anything and you're always gonna look fabulous. I absolutely recommend the Chanel Walk. Oh my gosh, I would like to have an array of colors because also, I didn't touch on this, it's great for traveling. So you put all of your identification, your money and things like that in this bag and then throw it down in a tote, a never full or any kind of a tote. And then you have everything you need for travel. Because when I travel, that's usually what I do. I take a smaller bag, put it in my larger bag, because there's times you don't wanna lug around a big bag if you're out sightseeing and things like that. But anyway, it's a great bag. You, It's pricey, but once you have it, you don't even think about that anymore. It's kinda like having children, you guys. And you know, I was an OB nurse for many years. You're screaming, you're moaning, you're groaning, you're in pain, but once that baby's here, <laughs> you don't really think about all that anymore. It's the same thing with this. You know, it's painful to pay the price, but once you have it, and you have it for years to come, and you use it time and time again, you don't ever look back. You're just so happy that you have something so beautiful and so classic in your collection. So yes, I absolutely recommend the Chanel Walk. I almost forgot. Okay, this is the first bag that I am selling. It's very pretty. It is um, the Jaguard. Let's see, what does it say? T Monogram Jaguard Studio Bag, the Hazelnut. It's beautiful. As you can see, it still has the tags. I did pay full price for it, you guys. What it was. Let's see. It says $3.98, so whatever. But anyway, you guys, <laughs> I've never reached for it. I think it's beautiful. It's a cute little going out bag. It fits on your shoulder. I mean, it's just so cute. And if I did use this bag, I would definitely spray it with Rain Guard. So anyway, you guys, I'm asking $150 for this bag. I paid $3.98, $150, okay? That includes everything, shipping and everything. So if you're interested in this bag, let me know. And I have one more bag to show you today. It's this beautiful orange um, Kurt Geiger bag. It's a little small bag. You can wear it cross body. You can wear it over the shoulder or double. It's so, so cute. I've never reached for it and I love orange, but I don't know. It is velvet. I don't know why I've never reached for it. I've never used it and it still has the tags. I have no idea. It still has the tags and the paper in it. So I have no idea how much that I paid for this bag, you guys. So I'm asking 125 for this. And if you're interested, just let me know. I will pay for all the shipping. All right, guys, those are the two bags that I have today. I was thinking about doing a blog sale, but I'm just not wanting to do one. I just thought I would throw a few things in. I will list them in the description box with the prices. All right, thanks, guys. All right, guys, that's really all I have for you today. I love my Chanel walk. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. And if you have any requests, if there are any bags that you would love to see me review, give me a request and I will add that on my list. So you guys, it's Saturday for me and not really sure what I'm gonna get into. I might do a bit of painting. I'm gonna figure out something yummy to eat today. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you guys in a couple of days on another video. Mwah. Peace.